Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I've got a special one for you today, and it is our reintroduction into the fall season, the fall home fragrance season. Um, we do it every year around this time, um, semi-annual sale, uh, even dating back to when I was on Instagram, that's when I would really transition into um, talking about fall candles. And we don't go in reverse on this channel either. I won't start talking about fall until we're just fully going forward into fall candles. And now is the time I've put this video out or this type of content out for about seven years now. This is the third year though in a row here on YouTube since I came back in the summer of 2022. Um, it's just one of those annual videos that I'll do every year. Some candles I'll leave out of this list on purpose so I can talk about them the following season. There were three candles that I left out of this list last fall that I'm gonna talk about this fall. When I say fall, you guys you kind of know what I'm talking about. We're talking about the fall home fragrance season, which starts in June for most companies. Um, I know Yankee Candles already got their stuff ready to go. That's smart on Yankee Candles part because if they don't do it early, significantly earlier than the other candle companies, then they kind of just get forgotten about and they get lost in the shuffle. And that's just kind of how it is with Yankee Candle. You're either a Bath & Body Works fan or a Yankee Candle fan, I feel like, or you either grew up with one or the other, which is ironic. Um, I didn't really grow up with Yankee Candle, but I kind of started out with them. I was in my mid-30s with Yankee Candle when I first really got heavily involved with them. But I did start off with Yankee Candle, but I'm definitely a Bath & Body Works fan when it comes to fall candles. They're fall candles for me have just stood the test of time. Um, these are classics. These are fragrances that really never go out of style. And that's why I would put a video out like this specifically for Bath & Body Works because they've had so many great fall fragrances throughout the years that I feel like it's called for. A video like this is called for and it's probably one of my most favorite videos to film yearly. And because of that, I'm gonna make this a two-part video. Um, this is part one. I'll talk about some of my favorite fall candles that I would love to see Bath & Body Works bring back. I am a historian with Bath & Body Works, especially their fall candles. Um, there is not a fall candle from Bath & Body Works that I do not know about or that I have not burned or at least smelled before. So the reason why I wanted to make this a two-part video was because it does kind of get a little bit long and there's so many choices that I could put in a video like this. Um, if you guys remember two fragrances that we talked about regularly, even dating back to my days on Instagram when I would kind of do the series over there, are these two right here that came back to us last fall. Um, Radiant Red Maple with this packaging that's just a little bit unexplainable. Um, and this one right here, which is Blueberry Pumpkin Patch. Two fragrances that if you were to ask me what are the two fragrances or what are two fragrances that you routinely include in a list like this that you would not expect to see them bring back, those would probably be two that I would mention. Uh, just because they were never well received the first time around, especially Radiant Red Maple, that candle got shat on quite regularly when it first came out. Um, Blueberry Pumpkin Patch, a little bit less, but it never really kind of caught any kind of hype when it first came out. It did at least come out for two years, though. I want to say in 2013, in 2014, it might have been 2012, 2013, but right around that time frame. So that candle at least came out twice, whereas this one came out once and we never heard from it again after that year. And I wanna say it was 2016, its original release year. So it was great to have both of them back. Hugely shocked though that we got both of those back. I'd love to see two just very random fall candles that have not come out in years brought back to us. Would love to see that. Of course, I put this video out in June and every year and I know that they've already made up their mind what fall candles are coming back for that year. So it's really for the following fall that this is maybe going to provide any kind of help for us. But I've got a set of, I think, nine or ten candles here that I'm going to talk about. 
there are a lot of Apple candles. I just want to mention that right up front here before I get into this video. Someone mentioned, and there's always kind of been this rhetoric in the candle community, that Bath & Body Works does not do Apple fragrances very well. Think about how nonsensical that statement is when you truly kind of break that down. Let's look back on some of the highest grossing fragrances that Bath & Body Works has ever produced. Pumpkin Apple, Leaves, and Autumn. All three are Apple candles. All three do Apple in varying ways, in different ways, but three of their all-time grossing fragrances that they've ever done. But hey, what do I know? I mean, wh what does that mean really? You know, when you break down the actual cells of a fragrance. But yeah, Bath & Body Works doesn't do Apple very well. Who'd have thunk? I, I wouldn't have, certainly not by the popularity of those specific fragrances. And neither one of those are gonna be in this list. But I have upwards of eight or nine Apple candles when you combine today's video and part two, I have almost 10 apple candles from Bath & Body Works that I would include in a list like this that are not the three that I mentioned. I know apple is just not one of Bath & Body Works strong suits, I guess. Some people just like to talk, just like to hear themselves talk and state something so many times that they start to think of it as fact when it is actually a pretty ridiculous statement when you think about it. So I'm gonna kick off this video um, with three fragrances that I did not include in last year's video. If you're watching this channel, I know you love fall candles and I know that it's early. I know that it's only June and some people are gonna complain about that. I totally get that. This is the time of year that the candle companies bring this stuff out. So it's the time of year that we're really kind of sparking this conversation up. Um, I hate that it's this early. It does not feel like anything fall outside. And truth be told, I'm not ready to burn any fall candles right now, but I am at least excited about it. Um, the optimism that fall fragrances and the fall season brings, that's what I look forward to. I am excited to at least smell some of the new stuff, not necessarily even burn them or give reviews. I'm just really looking forward to getting my hands on this stuff and smelling it. Just keep in mind, I wouldn't have this channel if it were not for fall candles. So we're going to start off, and I did put these candles, these fragrances, in um, my comment that I pinned on last year's video. If you want to watch that video, feel free to watch that. Um, so they were fragrances that I knew I left out of the list and I knew deserved to be in the list. And I had already planned then to include them this year, but we're going to start off with this one right here, Brown Sugar All Spice. Um, this is one of those fragrances though for me, and I know if you're watching a video like this, you probably watch a lot of candle channels, um, candle channels that focus on Bath & Body Works and the like. I'm not one of those channels that has a scent memory for everything. You know those channels, they're out there. Everything takes them back to when they were a kid or takes them back to their mom when they were bakering or their childhood or something like that. I've never been like that. I wasn't really focusing or even worrying about fragrance in my home, even baking or anything like that in my home. But this candle right here, this is sentimental uh, to me in that way, um, taking me back to when I was younger. This right here reminds me of my parents' spice cabinet in their old house. Of course, they've moved on from that house now. It's been a few years. But it was a, an older house, uh, made in probably the 70s or so. And it was one of those things that were spice cabinets. It was just a cabinet dedicated for spices. I don't have that in this house. I've never had that since I've lived with my parents. And when you would open that cabinet up, it would fill the entire kitchen with the smell of this smell right here. It is almost dead on identical to that smell the brown sugar and the allspice in this is about as authentic as you can get. I swear I've never smelled anything like that before or since in a candle. And this fragrance right here takes me back to growing up in my old childhood home. Um, that is remarkable. Just to kind of be taken back to a certain time in my life, a certain era, in my life, and I know that's the norm for a lot of people, 
that you'll watch here on YouTube. It is not for me, but that absolutely does it. That's a great way to kick off this list. And probably one of the most underrated fall candles that Bath & Body Works has ever put out. We have not seen it since 2015. Would love to see that one at some point down the road. And then another one that I left out of last year's video that I'm going to include in this one, this one right here, Berry Pumpkin Strudel. Um, I believe we have not seen this one since its release year, initial release year, which was 2016. So this was the only year this one came out. There was a lot of talk when this first came out about whether it was an apple pie, um, whether people got the bakery, the strudel note in this candle. And I actually do here on cold quite noticeably, actually. Now, it's an apple pie fragrance for me, but it's a red hot apple pie. It's a red hot cinnamon in this. It's not the warm apple pie that Bath & Body Works has put out for the past few years. You know the candle I'm talking about usually comes out with their summer releases right around 4th of July or so. Um, perfect time to put an apple pie candle out though. But this one right here um, definitely does focus more on the red hot cinnamon while it's burning. But I really get that strudel here on cold. It reminds me of the Better Homes and Gardens apple pie fragrance that they've had for several years. But very pumpkin strudel, very reminiscent of that. It's a very simple fragrance actually. Has a little bit of a cult following I think as well in the community. And I do get a little bit of an apple spice in it. I'm not even including this though in the so-called apple fragrances that I have in my candles that I would love to see Bath & Body Works bring back for fall. But that is another great one. And the third one that I mentioned um, to kick off this video that I left out of last year's video is this one right here. Pumpkin Coconut, which came out in 2015 for the first time. It's been out a couple of times since then, I want to say, or maybe even just once since then. Probably the only true coconut fragrance that I really appreciate from Bath & Body Works. Um, three notes that I could care less about in home fragrance are coconut, peach slash mango, and raspberry. If those three notes didn't even exist, it wouldn't bother me at all. But this right here, this is the best coconut fragrance they've ever done and absolute favorite coconut fragrance that they've ever done for fall. But that's a really nice kind of toasty coconut scent. and love that wax color too, fits very well for this fragrance and those um, lids with the pumpkins on them. Those were classic lids. They always did kind of rust a little bit on the inside, the galvanized still lids, but uh, pumpkin coconut. Those were the three fragrances that I left out of last year's video that I felt like deserved to be in this year's video. Now we're gonna talk about a lot of apple fragrances, but keep in mind, Bath & Body Works does not do apple very well. Um, this one right here, um, I don't think we've seen this since this year, and it was 2013. Caramel Apple, the original Caramel Apple. Now, this is not the Caramel Apple that we've seen over the past few years, here recently, um, that has come out in, you know, different Halloween collections. We've seen it just as Caramel Apple. We've seen it as like a spooky Halloween Caramel Apple. This is not that by any means. This is definitely focusing more on the spices with this, more on the nutmeg. And to be honest with you, I don't get a strong apple here. Really, it's that kind of milky caramel and nutmeg. It has a very strong warmth to it, almost like a brown sugar in this candle. Would love to see Bath & Body Works bring this back. Now, Homeworks did bring a candle out a few falls ago. I think it was Apple Spice, just a very generic name, Apple Spice. We haven't seen it since it came out. That I thought was the reinterpretation of this fragrance right here. Could be wrong. I mean, nobody ever mentioned anything about that, those two fragrances being similar. And I'm sure there aren't a lot of people that have ever smelled this original Caramel Apple from Bath & Body Works but I definitely picked up a lot of similarities between the two. So if we ever see Homeworks bring back um, Apple Spice, yeah, just know that that is pretty similar to the original Caramel Apple from Bath & Body Works. And another Apple fragrance 
Um, this one right here, spiced pomegranate cider. You're probably seeing that and thinking, well, it says pomegranate. What are you talking about apple for? Well, the notes on it say pomegranate, sweet apple cider, um, muddled blackberry, and star anise. Okay, that's definitely a sweeter apple. I really don't get much blackberry at all from this. And probably a little bit of like um, a gummy kind of, like gummy candy the pomegranate comes off as here. But it's definitely apple. Um, it's definitely more of a creamy apple cider, spiced cider. It's not the spiciest apple cider though that I've ever smelled before. And over the years, I kind of have been known as the apple cider guy in the candle community. I know a lot of people think they're just very basic and run of the mill, but honestly, give me a good apple cider for fall over anything pumpkin. And that right here, probably one of the most unique apple ciders that Bath and Body Works or any candle company has ever done for that matter. And the next one we're gonna go to is this one right here. Might be my favorite apple cider that Bath & Body Works has ever done. It is apple cinnamon cider. Um, this one was first released in 2018. Yeah, I would say this is the best apple cider they've ever done. Now they did do a pumpkin apple cider at one point, which is also very nice as well. Very similar to pumpkin apple though. This though deviates quite a bit. You really kind of get that spicy cinnamon cider smell here in this. The apple is a lot more straightforward than the spiced pomegranate cider. This is a more sweet candle. Um, this one focuses more on the cinnamon spice. And this one did come out again the following year, um, 2019, but we have not seen it since 2019. A great one. Their best apple cider that Bath & Body Works has ever done, uh, apple cinnamon cider. That is a really nice cider fragrance. And for the cider lovers who watch my channel, yeah, that's one we want to see back. And the next one we have here is yet another apple candle. And it's this one right here, apple crumble. Now, we have not seen this candle from Bath & Body Works since 2015. Now, this is actually a 2013 uh, batch code on the bottom of this candle. But this particular candle with this label stayed on the Bath & Body Works website until 2015. So, but this candle right here is a 2013 batch code. We have not seen Apple Crumble come out since 2014. It came out for a few years. I want to say two or three years. Um, at least new production of the fragrance did. But... Fear not, we've seen Homeworks bring back their Spiced Apple Crumb, which is essentially this fragrance right here. Not as creamy as this one though. They really focus on the vanilla creaminess in this to kind of recreate that crust note. But it's not a real crust heavy apple pie here. It's not like their warm apple pie that they've put out for a few years now, not at all. That definitely focuses more on the crust note, and this focuses more on the creamy kind of vanilla apple. But this is a great one. Um, Spiced Apple Crumb from Homeworks is extremely similar to this. Would love to see Bath & Body Works put this out. People would lose their minds if this candle came out. And it was one of those candles that was readily available for many years on the website, and people just kind of ignored. But not me, when I was stocking up on this um, back in 2015, People were talking about a lot of the newest releases. I was busy picking up several of these off of the website and in the wallflowers as well. And the last two candles I'm gonna talk about in this list have a little bit of a connection. We're gonna talk about this one first, um, Dutch Apple Waffle. Now this one created a lot of hype when it first came out in 2020. And it's a fragrance that got compared for whatever reason, I have no idea, you know, the people that love to cry repackage, um, got compared to this one right here, Apple Pumpkin Pancakes. Just to clear up any misconception, Dutch Apple Waffle is nothing like Apple Pumpkin Pancakes. Nothing at all. It is way too heavy on the maple to even be remotely considered um, similar to this fragrance, which I've always thought the apple pumpkin pancakes has a weird bready smell to it. 
it's definitely got apple and it's certainly got a bakery here and it's also a lot less sweet than this dutch apple waffle which a lot of people said smelled like a caramel apple to them and i kind of get that a little bit even kind of something cheesecakey here very creamy almost lactonic in its creaminess so and also for years this candle right here apple crumble got a lot of comparisons to this candle right here apple pumpkin pancakes i don't know why all three are very unique in their own right they're all distinctly their own fragrance i don't think any of the three smell alike they just all have that similar note of apple but one's kind of doing like a little bit of a, a maple syrup vibe one's kind of going in a caramel direction uh, caramel cheesecake direction the others going in a definite vanilla creaminess they're all very distinctly their own fragrances i did want to mention them though because over the years they have got some comparisons but i don't think this one right here was ever really too hyped up as being apple pumpkin pancakes and i only saw a couple of people mention that but there you guys have it we wrapped it up with the first round um part one of this bath and body works please bring back these fall candles let me know what you guys would love to see bath and body works bring back this year or even in years as we head forward if you see any of these come out be sure to let me know. I'm the first guy that needs to know. Some of these fragrances are all-time classics from Bath & Body Works and are some of the absolute best as far as apple fragrances go. Um, that's part one. I'll see you guys here in part two in my next video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.